Okay, rice, uh, water and consciousness experiment. Dr. Imudu, or however the hell you pronounce his name. We got the water boiling, got the rice. We used uh, smart bottled water, and uh, we'll boil the rice and get it into the jars. Okay, we got the rice in the jars. I wrote, I hate you, and I love you. Uh, and pool in the heat jar and thank you on the I love you jar and every morning we're gonna wake up and say this to the jars individually with the real intent and we'll see what happens in the next 30 days <laughs> we're taking the rice to the basement because, <laughs> because uh, we have a lot of company in this house and we don't need to be distracted and People might make fun of the jars, the jars mm -hmm. and I don't want his feelings to be hurt. <laughs> am absolutely certain that intent is real, so yeah, we don't want the rice's feelings to be hurt when the I love you jar shouldn't be hurt. So, yeah, come set one here and there. I'll get the fuck out of your way. Which jar right here? Doesn't matter, what, yeah, just one there and then one on the other side, yeah. And the basement's going to be a little cooler, so that will definitely affect fermentation and whatnot too. But we should have the same results, just maybe not as grim as if it was in room temperature environment. Cheerio. Okay, it has been almost uh, June 8th. I started the little rice experiment, and it is now the 25th of July. So my thank you jar, as you can see, is just fermenting naturally. I have thank you, and on the paper on the other side it says I love you, and I just say that every day to it. Actually, there's been a few days, a couple days I've missed there, but... And the one I say I'll kill you, I hate you, is just watery and gross, and clearly there has been an effect on the contents or the water that the rice distilled water that the rice was uh, cooked in so well, this is just going to be an ongoing experiment we're just going to let her buck and see what comes of it all but as you can clearly see the rice in the thank you jar is just all kind of naturally fermenting and the other jar that we tell we do not like, and I hate you, I will kill you, is really looking gross. It's a different creamy color, too. So, uh, you try to tell me that intent, consciousness, and thought don't have an effect on water almost two months into this little experiment would uh, have to call you wrong water has con water definitely has consciousness and out of everything I've learned in the last two years of researching geopolitics and all the secrets that are being kept from the public at present this is one of the biggest discoveries of them all. You don't hear about it on the news, you can find it on the internet of course, but they should be talking about this. I don't care, religions, <laughs> at the supper table, this is hugely important. And, and if you don't understand why that is so important, then you know, it's you have to change your own consciousness or something because this is so important. What they're doing to our earth right now, all the fracking, the water table, that's our planet's memory. That's our planet's consciousness. And we are killing it. Like at an exponential rate and all humans need to know this 
and what this is with water and that it affect our thoughts affect water like this and if we knew if everybody knew this and more importantly if everybody knew it and understood the the importance of it that would be a good start into making this world a much better place so this is almost two months into the old rice experiment we will be back in another month or two to show you what they look like then and tell me tell me that uh, this experiment doesn't work I say you are wrong alright reality activist see ya